Peace, my name is Haven Bullets and today I gotta address you BGS. Um you left a comment on my channel. Um and I see that you're a supporter of this ADOS fuckboy movement. So I gotta just bring it to your chest. I watched a little bit of, of your of the hangout you did. I'm not I can't take clips of it because it's like I can't download an eight hour long live stream. It was the one you did on the knife, I think. Whatever. And you got where the pan or the ADOS conversation starts at the hour and three minute mark, whatever. I gotta just clear up some things before I get into the heart of this video. One, that that thing threw me off. One, you can't be pan Africanist and support this movement. It's like, like your friend. I don't know his name, but I'm gonna get at him another time. I don't remember it right now. He said, who is the two groups that's giving him the most pushback with this ADOS thing? People who are Pan-Africanists and people who are from the diaspora or African black immigrants. Like he said, you said I'm Pan-Africanist and I support this movement. The reason, again, why people who are actual Pan-Africanists are pushing back against this movement is because it is an anti-black immigrant movement. Everybody knows this. Anybody who's been around and knows Yvette Carnell and Tone Talks, the founders of this movement, who founded it years ago, and who has been watching them, knows that this is an anti, at its core, and its number one mission of this ADOS um, fuckboy movement is to divide black people, point blank, period, in this country. That's it. All this reparations talk and all this other stuff came later and was added by other people. That's not what it's about. I'm pretty sure if you ask Tone Talks or Yvette Carnell, do you see black people getting reparations for slavery in the next five years? And is that your number one concern? They'll say no to both those questions. Second, going back to Yvette Carnell, I see you and other people, fake Pan-Africanists, Pan-Africanists in name only, Talking of trying to distance this movement from Yvette Carnell by claiming it already existed. Y'all trying to give her credit while, while trying to distance the movement from her. Why are you doing this? Because you know that Yvette Carnell is anti-black immigrant. This is why y'all trying to say, well, she didn't start it. Such and such started it. This one started it. Well, it's coming in the vein of this and that and that and this. Well, she just basically made it popular. She created the hashtag. Bullshit. This ADOS movement is something, fuckboy movement, is something that Yvette Carnell created that cannot be connected into anything black people have ever fought for in America in the last 400 years. Can't. Can't. On its face. The fact that it's against other groups of black people, by definition, nobody would have rolled with it. From Frederick Douglass all the way to Barack Obama. No organization we ever had from the NAACP all the way up to the Nation of Islam would have rolled with this. Nobody, no movement we ever had would have rolled with this. From the abolitionist movement all the way up to the black power movement. None of them would have fucked with this fuckboy movement. And I'm pretty sure you know that. So I don't know if you just dick riding for clout and money and you don't know the real. Or you dick riding for clout and money and you do know the real. Because it's either or. But now we're going to get to the heart of this video. The reason why black immigrants feel that they have a right to speak on this issue and not that they just feel they know they have a right to speak on this issue because this issue directly affects the life of every black person in America. Somebody could have literally just got off the plane from Nigeria today and they have a right to speak on this issue because this issue will affect their life in America. You do know that black people in America are seen as one group, right? You know when people say black Americans, African Americans, that includes all black people, right? For the most part, especially we talk about this, the diaspora, as far as the Caribbean and Africa, it includes everybody. You know that, right? You know, and a uh, uh, quote unquote DOS person checks the same box that somebody who is a second generation Jamaican American checks, right? You do know somebody who's a 
Nigerian immigrant checks that same box too, right? Black African American box, right? This movement is about the total separation from legally, politically, socially from those groups that literally affects their life. And in, and anybody knows if you're a part of an affected group, you have a right to speak on an issue if that issue affects you directly. Like, I don't think y'all thought this through. Like, I'm not just talking to you right now. I'm about to just talk to everybody who's saying, I don't understand why immigrants feel they have a right to say so, have say so in this issue. That's why. You do, like I just brought up about, about how we always been considered one group, no matter where you're, where you're from. You do know we have black immigrants and the descendants of black immigrants and some people who have immigrant ancestry in every black organization right can they still be a part of black organizations if if we gonna separate ourselves as ados you know we have a bunch of immigrants in the congressional black caucus and other black caucuses across the country can they still be a part of those caucuses or do they have to create their own caucus Or is somebody with a quote unquote ADOS parent and a black immigrant parent, does, do they count as ADOS or do they count as a black immigrant? Or are they their own group? Or do, or do they have the right to choose which group they want to roll with? These are important questions that none of you have even brought up because you're not even thinking like that. I don't, I don't get, this is why this is a fuckboy movement. And it's short-sighted and it doesn't make any sense. You're literally calling for the entire redefinition of what it means to be black in America. A definition that has existed for over 400 years. Over 400 years. You're literally calling for that. And, and, and you wonder why people are... T are, are are upset about this why people feel they have the right that are of immigrant backgrounds feel that they have the right to speak on this this is like getting a divorce from somebody and saying and asking them why did they show up at divorce court and with a lawyer and think they have a right to talk to the judge or talk to the um the arbitrator i i just don't get it man This is sad indeed, man. I, I got I got to do something about this. I, at least if y'all gonna join a movement, understand what it's about and stand on it. See, because I know Yvette Carnell wouldn't have no problems answering those questions. I already know her answer for those questions. Her and Tone Talks. But we got a legion of fucking useless, um, useful idiots following behind this movement thinking they're going to get reparations you ain't getting no fucking reparations and even if you wanted to really get reparations you don't this is not the way to go about it and i'm gonna end this video right here like share subscribe drop me a comment tell me what you think and on that note family peace